Back to today's top story, a wildfire burning out of control in southern Arizona. It is in Green Valley right now and it's already burned more than 18,000 acres. We've got team coverage for you tonight. Chief Meteorologist Royal Normans taking a look at how the weather is affecting the firefight. Mike Walkis shows us how you can protect your home. And first we start with Jeff Van Sand, who's live south of Tucson with the very latest on the sawmill fire. Jeff. Yeah, we're right now in the town of Sunita, and the biggest uh, problem that firefighters are dealing with is obviously these gusting winds. We've seen gusts up to about 50 miles per hour, and it's gotten so bad, they say they haven't even been able to uh, conduct air operations. That means dropping retardant on this fire. So they've been really hampered by this. The fire has grown to about 18,000 acres. 80 to 100 people have been evacuated. Now, this fire has grown again to 18,000 acres at this point. There's been several evacuations, including uh, 88 homes near Hilton. Ranch along with folks in Rain Valley off of 82 and Greaterville area as well. Some 300 firefighters are battling this blaze. Dry grass and brush are really fueling this fire with the help again of these high winds. Firefighters are creating fire lines involved in burnout operations to help contain this thing. Uh, they're also protecting homes as best they can. We can obviously see the smoke and hopefully if the wind dies down they can get control of it. I mean it's just this time of year with the winds before the rain starts, this is what happens. So I did speak with the incident command, uh, commander just a short time ago. He says he's real worried that these winds are not going to be dying down for quite some time, saying that uh, these winds are expected to stick around. However, the National Weather Service says we might get a brief uh, 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 break uh, later on this evening where the winds will start to die down. But again, winds are expected to pick back up tomorrow as well. And no word on what caused this blaze. Guys, back to you.